Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, o magandang gabi kung nasaan ka man ngayon. Ako si Jasper Dominic Canabibas and welcome to Kwentuhan About Life kung saan papag-usapan natin ang mga bagay na gusto kong pag-usapan. Ngayon, since ito ay ang pinakaunang episode ng Kwentuhan About Life at ngayon ay September 9, 2020, as of this recording, papag-usapan natin um, sa mga na- nakakaalam dyan, Pilipino ako na lumipat ng Amerika Lumipat sa Amerika noong September 5, 2014. So, yun nga. So, 2014. Ngayon, 2020 na ngayon. So, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's been 6 years na since tumapak ako sa American soil. At ang gusto ko lang ikwento ngayon sa araw na to ay yung mga culture shock about sa Amerika bilang isang Pilipinong immigrant. And since wala akong script, muna lang akong bullet points na nandito sa harapan ng computer ko ngayon. And yeah, magsimula tayo sa numero uno. Maraming mga Pilipino dito at super diverse ng lugar na to. So um, before moving to the US, akala ko na um, most of the time may kita ko mga tao dito ay yung mga puti at yung mga itim. And, you know, it turns out, ang dami din pala mga Pilipino dito. I think it depends sa uh, state, pero ngayon nasa California ako. At sa California, madaming mga Pilipino. And especially sa airport, ang daming mga Pilipino nagtatrabaho doon. And since yung uh, nagtrabaho ako sa airport, um, parang ramdam mong nasa isang building ka na puro mga Pilipino. Hindi mo ramdam na nasa Amerika ka. And yeah, um, I mean, yun nga, ganun nga. And since sobrang daming mga Pilipino dito, um, for me, walang lilipas na araw na hindi ka makarinig ng taong nagbibisaya o nagtatagalog habang naglalakad ka sa kalsada or nagtatrabaho ka, yung mga ganun-ganun. And ayun nga, since madaming mga Pilipino dito, meron din dito mga buildings na targeted ay mga Pilipino gaya ng... We have a supermarket here called the, huh, tawag dito ay like seafood, seafood city market. Kung saan Asian market siya. Puro mga Asian foods imported from the Philippines and some other countries like, I think, baka Taiwan, Thailand. Um, wala ko masyadong maalala kung may Japan doon. Anyways, ang daming mga... Uh, pagkain Pilipino doon if Asian market siya I think yung main target nila ay mga Pilipino kasi ang daming mga Filipino shoppers ang daming mga Filipino workers doon and madami din mga Filipino stands kasi meron doon um, di ba yung mga supermarket sa Pilipinas gaya ng Save More SM Save More meron sila mga stands doon yung mga um, hindi ko na maalala yung mga ang hala ng mga, ano, meron doon, show my house. At minsan meron parang hamburger stand. Yung gets nila. Meron doon stand na consistent sa lahat ng mga super um, uh, seafood city na market. Uh, isa doon yung grilled city. Meron ding, tatlo yun eh. Pero, uh, meron ding crispy town. Yung mga ganun. So, basically, itong mga stands na to, parang mini Uh, yung mga stands sila, nagbibenta sila mga Filipino food. Meron doon mga isaw, merong crispy pata, mga, yung mga barbecue na Pilipino. Basta mga Filipino food nandun. And you know, hindi sila lugi kasi ang daming mga Pilipinong bumibisita. We also have a mall here sa Bay Area, tawag Tanforan. And sobrang daming mga Pilipino doon na feeling ko, you know, Filipinos mahilig bumisita sa mga mall. Kasi uh, sa Pilipinas, presko, malamig, you know. Dito, I think one of the reasons why madaming buwing bisita sa Tanforan ay dahil uh, we, um, they have Filipino movies there. So kung ano yung pinapalabas sa Star Cinema, ay papalabas din dito. They also have Jollibee. So, and you, you know, sa food court nila, usually Jollibee ang isa sa mga pinamadayang taong bumibili. And the other 
the other restaurants are like local restaurants. Local by the means na local sa Bay Area. And yung um, na-mention ko din, diversity. Um, hindi lang mga Pilipino nandito at mga kano. Meron din dito, madami din dito mga Chinese. Madaming, you know, diverse. Kung napalad mo na yung Avatar, The Last Airbender, and uh, to be specific, Legend of Korra. Merong city na ginawa ni Ang, yung Republic City. And yung area na yun ay napaka-diverse kasi sa small area na yun, madaming mga, you know, kasi diba dati separate yung mga firebenders, earthbenders, airbenders, and uh, ano isa? Well, extinct ng air nomads. Pero yung ganoon nga, separate sila dati. Sa Republic City, lahat sila nakatira sa iisang city kung saan sila ay nag, ano, nagtutulungan sa mga trabaho, mga ganun-ganun. Parang ganito sa area namin kung saan ang nakatira ngayon. So, ayun. Number one ay, yun nga, maraming mga Pilipino dito and there's diversity. Numero dos, serving size. Serving size, wow. Huh. Alam mo, um, lahat ng kilala ko so far na lumipat dito sa Amerika ay lahat sila tumaba sa napansin ko para sa mga nakwento nila. Kasi ang serving size dito or yung mga pagkain na sinaserve nila sa plato o sa mga orders nila, mga in-order mo sa mga restaurant ay sobrang laki. Like let's say, um, kapunta ako sa isang um, restaurant na parang five star. Nag-order ako ng spaghetti or carbonara. And I expect ko malita plato yan. Or like isang order ng carbonara na parang sakto sa akin. Pero ang bibigay nila isang plato na parang good for two to, th- to three people. Sobrang laki. Kaya minsan kahit Uh, minsan na uh, ina-underestimate ko yung mga in-orders ko. Nag-order ako ng dalawa kasi akala ko maubos ko. Eh, sinanay ako ng mga ng serving size sa Pilipinas. Pero kapag nag-order ko ng dalawa, parang nag-order ko na para sa apat na tao. Kaya ako ito maba. Same thing sa mga pizza. Malalaki din mga pizza dito. Yung mga hamburger nila. Yung mga drinks. Yung large drink dito ay parang hindi mo makikita sa Pilipinas. Kasi ang large drink sa Pilipinas ay parang medium drink lang dito. So, ayun nga. Um, ano pa ba yung masasabi ko sa serving size? Well, kakaiba kasi, you know, um, when I think of American food, um, naisip ko pizza, hamburger, french fries. Not only na malaki sila sa calories pero yung nga malaking serving size so talagang tataba ka dito especially if you're Filipino nasanay ka sa Filipino diet nasanay ka sa amount of calories na kinakain mo sa nung sa Pilipinas ka pa mapapadami yung kain mo dito kapag nasa Amerika ka and for sure tataba ka kaya it took me several uh, several years and maybe months para isanay ko yung diet ko dito para mag-adapt ako kasi if I didn't patuloy akong tataba so yun yun ang mga uh, serving size dito that is numero dos serving size numero tres meron ditong parang unspoken rule sa mga restaurants at sa mga movie theaters sa Pilipinas kapag kumain ka sa restaurant yung pinagkainan mo ay iiwan mo lang sa lamesa. Right? Isa sa mga reason kung bakit iniiwan natin yon ay sabihin ng mga mga kasamang kumain na meron naman tagalinis or trabaho nila para maglinis. Okay. Sa Amerika, um, I think etiquette na lilikpitin mo yung pinagkainan mo So after mo kumain, automatic na bago ka umalis, itatapon mo yung mga kinainan mo sa basurahan. Ilalagay mo yung tray sa designated tray area and yung mga ganun-ganun. Naalala ko yung first time kong kumain sa, I think, ang una kong restaurant dito ay KFC. 
naalala ko pa nagtaka ako na nasa tapat ako ng cashier. Hinahanap ko yung rice meal sa KFC. <laughs> so low key, uh, I was expecting that there are still rice meals dito sa KFC America. So nagtataka ako, it took me like maybe two minutes to realize na nasa America ako. Hindi lang makapaniwala kasi lahat na nasa menu nila ay either just plain chicken, chicken sandwiches, french fries at mashed potato. Pero walang kanin. So I remember asking the cashier na, do you guys have any rice meals? Hindi yung maget sa umpisa. <laughs> Alatang baguhan pa lang ako. Alatang first time kong mag-restaurant sa Amerika. Nagtanong siya, oh, uh, excuse me, rice? <laughs> so yeah, rice meals, like, with rice. Sinabi ko pa grain, ano, sinabi ko pa grain. Kasi uh, medyo, uh, bulol ako sa letter R. So sabi ko grain. Para maisip niya bigas. Sabi, uh, sabi niya, no, uh, we don't serve that here. So pinili ko ay, ang pinili ko yata is chicken sandwich. And by the time na nandapos ako kumain, kasama ko yung uncle ko noon, pati yung mga pinsan ko, tatayo na kami para maglayas. He told us na kailangan namin iligpit yung mga pagkain, yung mga na namin, yung mga basura namin, kasi that's what we do here. And so we did. Same thing can be said when you're watching a movie dito. After we watch a movie, Uh, sa Pilipinas, usually iniiwan mo yung kinainan mo sa upuan mo, sa ilalim ng upuan mo so that, you know, uh, let the cleaners do their job. While here, meron din mga cleaners, it is an etiquette na itatapon mo yung mga basurahan mo sa uh, tapat ng exit. Kasi every time na natapos yung movie, um, may kita mo nakahanda ng mga basurahan sa tapat ng exit doors. Nakahanda na doon para sa mga, you know, sa mga tapunan. So, there's that. Popcorn. Um, plastic wraps. Foils. From sandwiches or hamburgers. Cups. From drinks. Maganon. So, that's numero tres. Restaurant and movie etiquettes. Number four. Numero cuatro. Mga malls dito ay hindi kasing grande ng Pilipinas. So um whenever people claim na may kita mo yung mga pinakamalaking mall sa Pilipinas I believe them. You know, sobrang laki ng mga mall sa Pilipinas na parang it will take you like several hours para lang maitawid yung isang buong mall from edge to edge, right? Yung mga mall dito, kaya I, um, I think um, I got a little bit disappointed kasi, um, you know, um, I, I prefer large malls kasi it just feels like, you know, yung grande nga. Like you can stay inside the mall for the whole day at, hin- at masasabi mong hindi mo siya... Uh, hindi mo na-visit yung lahat ng places sa loob ng mall na yon by the time na uuwi ka na. Dito, yeah, yun nga, sobrang late na mga malls. And parang masasabi kong, oops, sorry about that. At yun nga, masasabi kong parang walang kabuhay-buhay yung mga mall dito. Kasi you just have like um, regular yung parang mga shopping areas. So with the Pinas, um, it's very diverse. Not only you have like the premium shopping areas, you also have like the 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 small stands. Manan ding mga yung yung stand na yung nga yung mga kainan. Tapos you have the food court. May sinihan ka pa. You also have like the 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 kids area para sa mga children. Nanjan ding cyber zone sa Pilipinas. Dito um. If you go to a mall, expect to see um, clothes stores, shoe stores, and that's probably it. You know, sa Pilipinas, diverse nga. And you know, guys, sa mga SM dyan, there's also like 
อย่ามามินิคอนเสิร์ตอย่ามาแฟชั่นโชว์สหรือมีมาอีเวนต์สมมติว่าจะนำไปที่ปีนั้นก็ต้องการกันนะครับนี่ก็มีแต่อีเวนต์แต่ก็ไม่น่าพังสิ่งก็ได้สับปะรดปีนั้นใช่ยังไงอันดามิงการ์ดส์สำหรับน้ำมันมอลส์ยังอีบ้างมาน่าคัชชัดกันปะมาเกินน์ซูเปอร์ฮิกเปิดคือมันมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นสิ่งที่เราต้องการก็คือมาสั่งสับปะรดนั้นมาสั่งส
a broken line means there are two lanes in the road and you have to stay in your lane and yeah that is number five number six numero seis madaldal ang mga tao dito you know sa Pilipinas um, I think you can go out um, for a day and go home without talking to anyone kapag ikaw lang mag lumabas here in the US it's different kapag lalabas ka there's a chance na one stranger will talk to you for any kind of reason either um, they're going to make a joke or they will ask about the weather mga ganong bagay tataas yung chance na yan if you're inside an elevator and you're alone with someone else and through that natuto akong makipag Englishan 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 sa kanila sabi nila nice weather we're having ha huh? yeah it's very nice very good mga ganong ganon so hindi ako ganong magsalita na sa kanila I mean you know you get the point and there will be times na nasa jeep ako you know not jeep pero in a bus like you know in a bus um, may taong may pag-usap sa akin and we will be talking for like the entire commute so I made I made a new friend I learned um, something about someone and you know Um, usually, ma kapag ganyan, um, yung mga madadadal dyan, yung mga puti, pati yung mga itim. Pero if it's, uh, you know, if it, it's other um, other races, like maybe Indian or Asian, um, mm, there's a lesser chance of them talking to you. Yeah, most of the time, it's either black or white. So that's number six. Madaldal ang mga tao dito. And number seven, ito ay isang bonus, bonus, bonus. It's not actually a culture shock, but it's more about the the weather. So when I first moved here, um, yeah, maybe we're um, two hours na akong nakatayo sa lupa ng Amerika. Punta kami ng parking lot to, you know, para sumakay sa sasakyan ng pinsan ko. Eh nagtaka ako, sabi ko, wow, pati yung parking lot nila dito, naka-aircon? Tawa sabi ng pinsan ko, no, walang aircon dito. Tinuro niya yung, yung parang uh, bintana. Not sure if bintana tawag doon, pero I mean, alam niyo naman itsura ng parking lot, diba? Parking lot na building. Hindi siya, uh, hindi siya actually enclosed. <laughs> para siyang may ano yung para may butas for the view or for you know hangin and it turns out hangin pala yon hangin yung malamig hindi siya aircon so it was kind of shocking na wow so ibig sabihin kapag lalabas ako ng bahay naka aircon na ako automatically nakagulat pero kapag mainit dito gaya ngayon mainit talaga kasi sa Pilipinas, humid. Humid yata yung tawag doon. Yung parang, kawag mainit pag papawisan ka. It's also because of the of the water droplets na nasa parigid mo. Kasi you're in a tropical country. Kaya naging malagkit yung balat mo when it's hot. Dito, kapag mainit dito, it's it's dry. Hindi ka, ano, hindi ka pagpapawisan or hindi maging malagkit ang iyong balat. Kasi dry yung init dito. So there's no there's no water droplets na invisible na nandiyan lang sa ere para dumikit sa balat mo. Kaya kung mainit dito, mainit talaga. Kasi may meron din dito mga heat waves. Parang mas uso yung ating heat waves dito kaysa sa Pilipinas. And talagang mapapainom ka na madaming tubig. And yeah, I mean that's like the the seven things na gusto kong kwentuhan about life. And I, if you guys reach um, this part of the podcast, nagsasalita na for like 20 minutes and more. And thanks for listening. 
And if you guys have any comments, babasahin ko yon for the next episode. Yeah, highlight ko yung comments nyo, you know, so that we can have a conversation. So if you have any, if you guys have any thoughts about dito sa topic na to, just you know, feel free to leave a comment. This is um this podcast will be about anything na gusto kong pag-usapan. You know, whether it's about life in the US or maybe it's about films, video games or history or you know, kung nasa na estado ng mundo ngayon, we're still in a pandemic. Kaya na kaya matatapos ito. People are losing jobs. And, you know, I am one of those people. I'm still trying to look for a job, pero, ha, huh, ganun talaga. Challenging times. And right now, itong araw na to, um, I will never forget this day kasi it's the day where the sky is orange dito sa Bay Area. Literal na pagkagising ko, everything is orange. Yung langit ay orange. Everything is orange because of the wildfire that is still happening here. I took some photos. You can see some of those photos on Instagram. I still haven't posted them, but I will post it maybe after um, doing this podcast. So you can follow me on Instagram at Jasper Abibas. And yeah, I do some photography there and you know, using only my phone. And I also do some artworks. And if you want to add me to Facebook, you can just look for Jasper Dominic Abibas. And yeah, about the uh, previous podcast show ko, Jasper's Movie Thoughts. I stopped doing them because I got busy around that time na nagsinimula ko yung podcast na yun. Pero since I want to be flexible and you know, sarado masinihan, there's no other movie to talk about. Other than yung mga nilalabas sa streaming like Mulan and you know, other stuff. I need to be flexible so I can talk about anything. Kaya itong kwentuhan about life, itong podcast na to, it's very flexible for me. So, yun nga. Kahit anong gusto kong pag-usapan, mapapag-usapan natin. And if you guys have any suggestions about a topic, yeah, just leave a comment and we can talk about that. Again, thanks for listening. This is Jasper Dominic and Abibas signing off.